I was struck twice by two AK-47 rounds. One in the knee destroyed my knee, and the other one went in my back, out my armpit, did no damage. And I had uh, permanent paralysis from, uh, from my shoulders all the way down. I had literally learned how to speak, um, think, even see. The year before last, I got attacked by a shark uh, while on exercise in Sydney Harbour. After my injury, you know, I just kind of became a shut-in, and I really kind of felt like I lost who I was. He feels like a sideline Marine now. Like, I've even heard him say the words, I don't even feel like a real one anymore. I just put the camis on. And that breaks my heart a lot. I mean, I had to start everything completely over. Um, just learning how to feed myself, brush my teeth, took months to learn to get the strength to do. My outlook kind of got bleak and, you know, it's just, I kind of looked at it from a, a bad point of view of you know, what can't I do instead of what can I do. And, you know, that really restricted me mentally more than it did physically because instead of, I want to try this, it was like, nah, I can't do that. Yeah, those that might be a little bit hesitant, a little reserved about doing it and, you know, just come in with an open mind, do it first thing. Make sure you do it, you'd regret it. Don't look at yourself as somebody who can't do it just because, you know, you're injured or you're wounded. I mean, push it, see what's out there. There's, there's people that can help you around, get you into any kind of sport you want to get into. At the beginning of the week, I, I just was happy to be there, and as the day went on, or the time went on, I thought, well, maybe, uh, you know, uh, I can try to make, you know, the team, and then a day later, it was, well, maybe I can medal, and, you know, it's just, uh, like I said, it's been a lot to wrap my head around, but it's just, uh, it's been a lot of fun. The people that are out here love what they do, and they're, they're sharing their talents and their knowledge with all these Marines. They love doing it. And all these Marines are ecstatic to be here and compete and train. When it's all said and done, you feel great. You you come in last and you're still just, you know, 10K wasn't hard. I could I could have done more, you know, and it's just you're happy about it. There have been some times when I was really discouraged and down, and when you come out here and see all these Marines that are just they just keep going and keep going and keep going. Uh, and all these great people out here that are helping them out, it's just, it's just a huge encouragement. And no matter how bad it is, I know that it could always be worse, and there's no time to sit around and feel sorry for yourself. You just got to go live your life and do everything you can. Get on board with him, support him 100%, go to the games, cheer him on. I mean, ask to hear more, ask him to talk about it. Ask him to sit down and say, what are you doing? How's training going? Are you doing this? I mean, who have you met? Who are your friends? And just ask a lot of questions. Make them talk about it. If you incorporate patience and perseverance and just keep pushing and pushing the boundaries, then you know, you're only going to advance and it makes life a lot easier and a lot better. You know, it just feels good. It's just like a wave of, of happiness. It's going to sound lame, I know, but it's just like, ah, oh, dude, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. I love this. How do you feel to be part of the Orange Boys? All right, thank you.